Do you hate being poor? Do you want to be rich like me? Well, go over to Messy Modding Services where you can buy GTA 5 modded accounts, GTA 5 money, and rank for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Check their website out in the link below. And if you're having doubts, just look at all these happy customers. So today's video is going to be kind of different. I'm going to do the top 10 reasons for why I think GTA is a good PvP game. Now I know what some of you guys are thinking. You're like, but GTA is not a good PvP game. Well don't worry, because I'm going to make a video about why I think GTA is also a bad PvP game. So if you want to watch that, turn on notifications and subscribe. So starting off with number one, the first reason why I think GTA is a good PvP game is because of the huge map. Now even though this game came out in 2013, the map is still one of the biggest in any game. Now this is good because it offers loads of different places to fight. So there's beaches, mountain and hilly areas, the city, the docks. The opportunities are almost endless. Now a lot of PvP games, excluding battle royales, where they've got set maps and you're enclosed by boundaries, GTA is the opposite, where you've got almost unlimited space. So that means you get bored of one area, you can just go find a fight somewhere else. And that leads on to my second point for why GTA is a good PvP game, and that's that there's a huge variety in combat. Now as you'll find in my next video for why GTA is a bad PvP game, this can also be a downside, but I'm going to explain at the basis why this is actually good. So for starters we've got AR play. Now auto aim may not be that competitive, but free aim, this relies a lot on aim. If you don't like using AR, you can use other weapons as well. You can use the revolver, pistols, but basically you can control however you want to play. And this is good because it stops the game from getting boring. Also if someone's using a heavy weapon against you, such as a minigun, this can actually improve the fight, make it a bit more interesting. But while there's a lot of variety in ground combat, there's also a lot of variety in aerial combat. Now each of these vehicles has their own benefit, such as the B11 having strong armour, Laser and Hydra having a powerful cannon, and the Annihilator being challenging. And if you're the one on ground, it forces you to play smarter to try and kill the other player. Which again is another reason because it's more rewarding if you manage to pull it off. Now the third reason why GTA is a good PvP game is because of the amount of game modes that there are. And if you go into the social club, it's death matches, king of the hill, survivals, captures, last team standings, and all of these are created by people. And you can even create your own. So we've got deathmatch, this RNG, the sniper jewels, And if you go into deathmatch, there's deathmatches, team deathmatches, vehicle deathmatches, and arena deathmatches. Last team standings can be quite interesting because the creator of the maps can turn them into whatever they want. For example, sniper versus stunters, or even bowling versus... Uh... Now these will make GTA a good PvP game because it keeps the game fresh and interesting. <laughs> Invite some friends along, you might even get some good laughs. <laughs> What's the where is he? Oh my god, he got shot in the air! Again, oh, again! No! Oh my god! Look at his fucking down! Look at his fucking ass! What the hell? Oh, this is fucking oh golden. Holy shit. Now, all of these previous reasons combine to the fourth reason why I think GTA is a good PvP game, and that is not all fights are the same. Now, not everyone likes this game, but the reason why I like Fortnite is because of the same reason. And that's the biggest reason for why I've been able to play these games for so long and not get bored. In games like PUBG and Warzone, if you're caught out in the open, the only option you have is to out-aim the other player. Positioning is a big factor, but the building mechanic in Fortnite separates itself from the rest, as you can make your own protection. This part is what makes every fight play out differently, based on how you can control the situation. Now in GTA there's Off The Radar, which gives you a set amount of time to try and reposition yourself without the other person knowing where you are. There's also Bounties, which stops the player from going in passive if you really want to kill them. There are also Muggers. You can hide behind a corner, call a Mugger on someone, Hey you fucking fuck? Wait for them to drop to the ground after getting stabbed and then go in for the kill. There are also armoured vehicles which stop yourself from getting shot for a certain amount of time or maybe protect yourself from explosions. There's also bull shark testosterone which gives you extra health and more damage which can be helpful if you're getting outnumbered. Car bombs which can be considered an unfair tactic can be quite fun. You can surprise a player who's not paying attention. What the fuck? You can also use hills and not camp to your advantage. Wink wink. Because there's no cooldown on Pegasus vehicles, players can call them whenever they want and make the fight go in a completely different direction. 
the fact that me and many other YouTubers, such as Met Pro and UVersus vs Pro, could upload GTA 3 mode content for years without it drying out is a huge example of this. Not one fight is the same as another, and the fact that anything can happen is what keeps the gameplay engaging. Take this video for example. I saw loads of oppressors and I thought I'd get a fight with loads of guys from an oppressor against me. Turns out it ended in a fair 1v1, snipers only, and this was not what I expected. But basically the fact that you can fight however you want using whatever vehicles and anyone else can do that as well. So anyone else can fight you however they want means that any fight can happen anyway and that's the fun of it. Now on to the fifth reason why I think GTA is a good PvP game and that's sniping is actually competitive. Now this is going to be a very controversial opinion, but I think that sniping is actually competitive and takes skill in this game because there's not that much room for error. Sometimes in RNG it can be uncompetitive because the server sync issues in GTA, sometimes your bullets don't register, but in sniper battles that doesn't really happen that often, so this means that any possible server issues that makes the game bad at PvP, they don't really apply that much in sniping. Now a lot of people think that fast movement in first person makes sniping easy, and it's just a battle of who can wiggle the most. Now anyone that's actually sniped in this game will know there's a difference between people that have bad movement that just spam left and right like, like that and people that actually control their movement and know what they're doing. I know this might, might be hard for some of you Ashlas GTA 5 players to comprehend but uh, yeah movement is actually really important and it isn't just left and right spamming. The fast movement also makes sniping harder to hit because they're moving faster because slow movement is by nature easier to hit. Another thing is people think that hitting shots in Sniper 1v1's luck. If it was purely down to luck, the better player wouldn't win every single time, because that's not how luck works. Also with sniping, there's a few places where people like to snipe. First is the beach, which you can see right now. People like sniping at the beach because their spawns are directly in front of each other, and it's basically a game of who can hit the fastest. While the beach doesn't have that much cover, docks is complete opposite. It's all about playing around cover and peeking around walls. This is highly, highly dependent on movement, reaction times and awareness. The other places at the airport where you have to have a hangar at the airport but it's my favourite because there's not cover and you don't spawn directly in front of each other so it's harder to spawn trap people and it requires a lot more skill but basically the fact that sniping at a high level requires skill makes this game good at PvP because you can always improve at sniping. Now other parts of GTA can be competitive like base but I think sniping's the most competitive because it's, it isn't affected that much by lag or server issues. But you may be thinking, what about one-shot sniper? Well, people who play fire, they play one-shot rule, which means you stand still after you get hit, so that gets rid of that issue. Now the sixth reason why I think GTA is a good PvP game is because sniping is very rewarding. Now it's not quite like card where you can get quad feeds and stuff like that, but what you can get is helicopter snipes, jet snipes, oppressor snipes, vehicle snipes. There's so many ways you can get nice looking clips in GTA. It's such a good feeling when you line a shot perfectly and it hits. And it's one of the things that I personally find makes GTA really, really fun to play. Now moving on from being able to get nice clips, you can be creative with the shots that you get on GTA. And that's my seventh reason why I think GTA is a good PvP game. Now I think this is the best video to show, to demonstrate what I mean by this. And it's the right, Snowy it? Christmas Kills compilation okay. by MetPro SWC. As you can see, both Metal and Proto, they're using different guns and being really creative with their kills. Another thing they're doing is they're sniping from a Guardian, because you can actually stand on it and you don't fall off. Now I'm not going to show the full video but I will put a link in the description if you guys want to see it. It's a really good video, I do recommend watching it. Now the eighth reason is more about game integrity, and it's the fact that you can have a separate free aim and auto aim sessions. 
Now, uh, some games, uh, Fortnite. This is an issue where you can get controller players that have strong games. In GTA, it's even stronger with players using keyboard and mouse. And our keyboard and mouse is a bit easier to aim your AR, but it's not auto aim. Now, this just means that if you're in a close range fight, you're not going to get aim botted by a little five year old that just knows how to press L2. So, the ninth reason why I think GTA is a good PvP game is because of customizability. Now, there's not as much on PS4, there's still quite a lot on PS4 and Xbox One. But on PC, there's a lot of customizability, as you'll see. So if we go in setting, of course you've got the usual sensitivity type. And this is something that you don't get in a lot of PvP games. You don't even get this in COD. So it's Dead Zone. Fortnite, I've literally only just added this. Acceleration as well. This is something you hardly get in games, especially in shoot games. You've also got camera settings. We can actually change your field of view. This is also another thing you don't get in many, many games. So if you don't like head bobbing, you can turn that stuff off. You can basically change a lot. Now another thing is, if you like to play CSGO, or Battle Royale games, and you like stretch resolution, GTA naturally supports it. And you don't get this in many games, you do get this in Fortnite. But for a game that's not meant to be about PvP, there's a lot of customizability that helps you PvP the way that you want. Now I can't really think of a 10th reason, so if you guys want to say why you enjoy GTA, just comment down below and that can be the 10th reason. As you know, I've just thought, the community. There's a lot of a lot of people that like, that like to practice with you. There are, a, there are a few bad eggs, but in GTA there's a quite a lot of nice people and you can arrange things like sniper tournaments uh 1v1s free mode wars and that's part of the fun but i spent a lot of time in this video so if you enjoyed it uh drop a like and maybe subscribe thanks